just going to answer some questions that were posed uh, for this little project with Isabel because she has a new camera. And the first question was, what is the purpose of yoga? And the other question was related to how do we meditate and what do we meditate on? So according to Patanjali, yoga is the cessations of the fluctuations of the mind. According to Patava Joyce, his definition is mind control. And from Shalendra Sharma, he mentions that mind over body. And the mind over body is an important aspect to look at because the body includes the senses. And the senses of a what are attacking the mind, and giving all these fluctuations. So we control our senses, then we can control the mind. According to Arjuna in the Gita, he asked Krishna, how do we control the mind? He says the mind is like the wind, very difficult to control, impossible to control. And Krishna answers, he says, with devoted, strong efforts, and by the practice of yoga, you can then control the mind. So how is that possible? And in the meditation aspect of it, if we start looking at controlling the mind, we have to find something to do. We can't just stop and blank the mind, especially at the beginning. But if we concentrate in meditation, which I do, I concentrate on breathing, just on the breath. And generally this is the first meditations that are given. When I had a Rinpoche come to my studio, he basically taught us how to sit, gave us seven steps, and then he said, breathe. The Dalai Lama also said the same thing, the same seven steps with breathing as the ultimate step and just watching the breath. So how do you just watch the breath? So in my own personal practice, I lengthen the breath as much as possible. So I'll take the breath from my empty lung to a full lung and I'll continually keep the same rhythm. So if I'm counting to say 20 as an inhalation, I also count to 20 on the exhalation. But I'm taking my breath to its, almost to its maximum. So I'm struggling, so I'm very concerned. I'm very aware of the ends of my breath. So that any wandering that occurs, I'm brought back at the end of the breath to say, oh, where am I? Am I 17, 18, 19, 20? And then I'll start and control the breath. And this way, my mind is occupied. It, it doesn't have the chance to think of other things. And if it does, it quickly has to come back to the breath. So this is the process I, I use in my meditations in way of trying to control the mind. Thank you very much.